it will fundamentally affect the business because uh, if it was floating, if it was going to float in the way it was previously being considered, um, then it would be based around the individual, his personality, his style, his drive. If you take that away, what have you got left? You've got a label and uh, a delightful history of a very, very talented man. Uh, but what you don't necessarily have is an ongoing business case which you can invest your money. The first immediate effect is, of course, that uh, any original Versace dress that made during his lifetime will acquire now a very distinctive value and will be collector's items in years to come and may well have proved to be a somewhat better investment than actual shares in the original company. They'll get B-roll ever. Well, it's believed that the Versace empire represented about $2 billion in annual sales at retail. And he had over 200 stores through partners or relationships that carried his merchandise with his name on it on a worldwide basis. So he was truly one of the superstars right up there with Armani and Ralph Lauren or Calvin Klein in annual sales. And I believe that the family under the leadership of his sister Donatello will without question continue the business and make it grow. These businesses are named after the men who founded them. They are an expression of that person's personality and you know we'll have to wait and see what it means for the you know for the Versace business, the Versace brand.